Hello and welcome to today's daily reading. We are at Psalm 33 today. This is what the word of the Lord says. It's a beautiful psalm and uh, uh, I'm sure that you will be blessed as we read it together. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for praise from the upright is beautiful. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make melody to him with an instrument of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully with a shout of joy. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his work is done in truth. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea together as a heap. He lays up the deep in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He makes the plans of the peoples of no effect. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own inheritance. The Lord looks from heaven and sees all the sons of men. From the place of his dwelling he looks. On all the inhabitants of the earth, he fashions their hearts individually and he considers all their works. No king is saved by the multitude of an army. A mighty man is not delivered by great strength. A horse is a vain hope for safety. Neither shall it deliver any by its great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him on those who hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him, because we have trusted in his holy name. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, just as we hope in him. Praise be to God for the reading of his word. What a wonderful promise. What an amazing truth uh, in that scripture. A reminder that the Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. But for those who trust in the Lord, who trust in his word, who trust in his counsel, blessed are those. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. We need to put our trust in his holy name uh, today. Um, I recall that, that scripture, it says, The word of the Lord is right, and all his work is done in truth. If we put our trust in the word of God, then, then we put our trust in truth. And truth is the only real answer, the only thing that we can find a true and everlasting hope. And you know, uh, we need a revival of the Bible because if this nation gets in line with what God's Word says then blessing will follow. That includes uh, a blessing of the Jewish people. You know these are promises worth holding on to today and as we take this psalm into our hearts I pray that it will encourage us to move forward in the days in which we are in. I will see you tomorrow as we continue reading the psalms together uh, thank you, God bless you, and see you tomorrow.